Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Friday, March 22nd. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the surf report and the weather outlook. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, tech, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know, 52 years ago, today, in 1972, the U.S. Senate approved the Equal Rights Amendment, which stated equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. But it failed to be ratified by the requisite majority of 38 states before the deadline. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the surf report. Friday at Tourmaline and South San Diego, it's looking fair at two to four feet until 10 a.m. Then you're gonna have to wait until Saturday morning to ride again. But get out there Saturday because Sunday and Monday looks like a massacre. Best time to ride is Dawn Patrol with the four foot incoming tide when the Southwest swell is two feet at 16 seconds and the Northwest wind is four mile per hour. The first high tide Friday will be about five feet at 8 a.m. with a minus half foot low tide at three. The near shore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 64 degrees for the water temperature. It's warming up. Checking out the weather in the San Diego area. This morning, it's cloudy and 55 degrees with no wind. The sunset will take place at 7.02 and it will rise again tomorrow at 647. It looks like we're in for mostly clouds today with a high near 67 and wind of five to 10 mile per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 55. Looking ahead in the weather, Saturday brings rain after 11 a.m., turning to showers and possibly a thunderstorm by night. Highs near 63 degrees and lows around 52. Wind could reach 20 mile per hour with gusts up to 25. Sunday sees similar conditions with highs around 60 and a 60% chance of rain. By Monday, expect mostly sunny skies, a high near 62 and a low around 53. Tuesday will be partly sunny with a high near 64. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. In local news, exploring San Diego County via the Blue Line Trolley offers a unique journey through its diverse landscapes and vibrant communities. From the nostalgic rides of childhood to discovering new dining and entertainment spots, the Blue Line connects San Isidro to University City, showcasing 16 must-visit locations. These spots range from quaint cafes and authentic restaurants to engaging markets and art crawls, each within a 15-minute walk from a station. This guide provides a comprehensive look into the convenient and affordable travel on the Blue Line, highlighting all-day destinations that reflect the rich culture and flavors of San Diego. Now on to sports. For our March Madness update, the Oakland Golden Grizzlies, a number 14 seed, achieved a stunning upset over third seeded Kentucky with an 80 to 76 victory, igniting the magic of the NCAA tournament. Under the guidance of coach Greg Camp, celebrating his 40th season and his first tournament win, the team showcased the essence of a Cinderella story. 
Graduate student Jack Golk, with a spectacular performance of 10 three-pointers contributing to his 32 points, became the Knights' hero. This victory, marked by resilience and a fearless approach to the game, has etched the Golden Grizzlies into the memories of basketball fans, demonstrating that with determination and teamwork, the underdog can triumph on the grandest stage. Now last night in local sports, the Padres on the road beat the Dodgers 15 to 11. And the Ducks at home beat the Blackhawks 4 to 0. Tonight, the Lakers are at home to take on the 76ers. And the Clippers are on the road in Portland to play the Trailblazers. In top news, a groundbreaking study suggests the existence of a fourth ecotype of killer whale off the California and Oregon coasts, distinct from the known offshore, transients, and resident orcas. This potential new group, observed in 49 individuals across nine encounters from 1997 to 2021, exhibits unique physical traits, dietary habits, and hunting strategies. Researchers from the University of British Columbia aim to confirm this through DNA analysis and sound recordings. This discovery highlights the orca's diverse behaviors and the possibility of a new orca population in the open ocean, marked by aggressive hunting patterns, including attacks on large marine mammals, and signs of encounters with sharks. In business news, Reddit's IPO success closing nearly 50% higher on its first trading day, signals a potential resurgence in the IPO market, particularly for technology companies. With shares initially listed at $34, then soaring up to nearly $58, Reddit's performance, alongside Astera Labs' successful IPO, suggests growing investor confidence. Experts predict this trend could encourage more companies to consider going public, especially with favorable market conditions, such as potential rate cuts. The unique challenges Reddit faces in balancing monetization efforts with its community's expectations highlight the complex dynamics that tech companies navigate when transitioning from private to public entities. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just over $66,000. Ethereum is at $3,500. And Solana is $179. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area, Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. In a revolutionary step towards addressing the global insulin crisis, scientists have genetically engineered a cow to produce human insulin in its milk. This breakthrough, a collaboration between the University of Illinois and the University of Sao Paulo, leverages the efficiency of cow's mammary glands for protein production. With the potential to drastically reduce insulin shortages and lower medication costs, this method could significantly impact the lives of millions. However, despite this promising development, the journey towards FDA approval and widespread use remains lengthy, highlighting both the innovation's immense potential and the challenges ahead in its implementation. And in entertainment news, a revival of The Boondock Saints is indeed in the works with Thunder Road, the production house behind John Wick, taking the lead. Norman Reedus 
and Sean Patrick Flannery are set to reprise their roles, introducing new characters to their vigilante cause. Although the project is currently without a director, Troy Duffy, the original film's creator, is not directing. There's also speculation about Willem Dafoe's return, given his cameo in the sequel, suggesting the possibility of his involvement in the upcoming project. Well, alrighty folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, in honor of March Madness and mentions of Cinderella stories, I leave you with this. What an incredible Cinderella story. This unknown comes out of nowhere to lead the pack. At Augusta, he's on his final hole. He's about 455 yards away. He's going to hit about a two iron, I think. When we got all of that, the crowd is standing on its feet here at Augusta. The normally reserved Augusta crowd going wild. For this young Cinderella, who's come out of nowhere, he's got about 350 yards left. He's going to hit about a five iron, I expect, don't you think? He's got a beautiful backswing. Dad, oh, he got all of that one. He's got to be pleased with that. The crowd is just on its feet here. He's a Cinderella boy. Uh, tears in his eyes, I guess, as he, as he lines up this last shot. He's got about 195 yards left, and he's going to... Looks like he's got about an eight iron. This crowd has gone deadly silent. Cinderella story, out of nowhere. A former greenskeeper now about to become the Masters champion. <clears throat> it looks like a wreck. It's in the hole! It's in the hole! Okay.